Okay, so about the packaging, it's a pretty standard uh, looking Xiaomi box, nothing too fancy there. Mi logo there on the front and over at the top here you got a little bit of information about the internal specifications inside. So 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. On the back we also have some more information, the one I've got here just has the Chinese lettering on since I got this uh, new from China and it's telling me we have a 5.5 inch screen and a Snapdragon 625 processor. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and we have the phone itself. Let's just set that over to one side. Ooh, it's nice. Um, and checking out what we have in the box. What else we have? Oh, there's the um, SIM ejector tool there. And it seems that everything else is stored in this box. Let's see what else we have here in this box. Okay. The USB cable, yep. And it's running to USB-C. This is a USB Type-C phone. And the charger. Let's get it from the other side. There we are. That's the charger. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. Okay, so the one I have here is the gold one. And let me just go ahead and take off these protective uh, layers, these protective coverings on the outside. Okay, let's see if I can prise that off. There we go. And on the front side. So we have our buttons down along the bottom and moving over to the back, we have our fingerprint sensor and the dual rear cameras and a dual tone flash over here and the logo of me down here with some very tiny lettering with the company information. Hmm. Very nice design overall. Here are the volume rockers and the power button. And over on the other side, I imagine, yes, we have the SIM card slot. And in this phone, we do get an audio jack. I know there's a lot of you out there who uh, have some gripes, I should say, with the lack of audio jack in a lot of these modern new phones. Well, this has one, so that's okay. And the speaker also down at the bottom here. Aside from the camera placement, from the outside, the Xiaomi Mi 5X looks like a miniature version of the Mi Max 2. Even some of the specs are similar, with the aforementioned Snapdragon 65 processor and 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. Though you can also get a 6GB RAM version for about $30 more. The storage is extendable with an SD card, and there's compatibility for dual SIM cards. Obviously, the battery size is smaller than that of the Mi Max 2, but at 3080mAh, the 5X should still last the whole day on a full charge. On top of the specs I've already mentioned, this phone has an Adreno 506 GPU, and on the Antutu benchmark tests, the Mi 5X was able to get 63,000, which is hardly a world-beating score, but about what you'd expect for a phone in this price range. The 5.5 inch display is Full HD, and it looks great. It surprised me how clear it looked for a phone at this price. However, you'll need to be careful in keeping the screen from getting scratched, since there's no Gorilla Glass here for protection. The 5X I have is currently running on MIUI 8.5, and this user interface has a nice look and feel to it. Not only that, but this phone will be able to take full advantage of the MIUI 9 once it's released, which should be later this month. What really stands out with this phone is the camera. There are very few budget phones on the market that have cameras that can compete with the 5X. It has a 5 megapixel camera on the front and two 12 megapixel cameras on the rear, but that doesn't really tell the whole story. Here are a few photos I shot using the rear cameras to show you what I mean. Generally, to get high quality photos like these with a smartphone, you'd have to spend upwards of $300, so it's nice to see that they were able to keep a near flagship level of photo taking capability with the 5X. There are numerous functions to choose from, including the bokeh mode, which is available by clicking the small icon at the top center in the camera app. Here you can see what photos look like when this function is switched on. 
Although this phone doesn't have the power to match that of more expensive models, overall I'd say that this phone is great if you don't want to splash out on a flagship phone such as the Xiaomi Mi 6, but still want to keep a lot of the same features. For more details on the Xiaomi Mi 5X, or to go ahead and buy one, then just follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching.